All right, so um, we're going to a concert pretty quick here. So with time being of the essence, I'm not wearing Oilers gear. But we're discussing an Oilers move today. UC Jokinen uh, has joined the uh, Edmonton Oilers on a $1.1 million contract. At least that is what I read on the NHL app. I'll double check that now while I'm talking to you guys. I just got in the door like two minutes ago. But the number matches up, and, and this is the kind of signing that is really smart. You're getting a guy who's a veteran. You're getting him for virtually nothing off the cap, and it adds depth. Uh, Jokinen, of course, is well known for his wizardry in the shootout. So the Oilers reach the shootout. This could be a huge move. And... The thing with guys like Jokinen and some of these veterans is Edmonton used to be a place they stayed away from. Stay stay away. Stay away from Edmonton. It's it's a it's a hole. There's there's nobody there. There's nothing there. There's no future. McDavid comes in, that starts to change. Now McDavid's re up for eight years, and it's gonna be a lot easier to sign guys. And here's the thing. So people say, well, Connor McDavid should have taken less money so they could sign other players. And we've discussed about how much money under the cap um, Connor McDavid took compared to Sidney Crosby and either Kane or Taves. When you have a guy like a McDavid or in Pittsburgh give a Crosby, players will take less money to come in and play with them. And there's two reasons for that. One, you have a better chance of winning. You get to, to play with this star player and you have a better chance of winning. Plus, if you have any time with that star player, your stats are going to go up. So coming out of said contract with that team, you might get a big raise. Sam Gagne style. That's not going to happen to Jokinen. But Jokinen's useful. He's useful bottom six. And if need be, he can stop step in top six for brief periods. And again, it comes back to Peter Chiarelli takes a lot of flack from people for the Griffin Reinhardt deal, for when he was back in Boston, the the, uh, the deal he made for, for Tyler Sagan. And that's fine. But Chiarelli's always making moves. He's always picking up players. So there's always going to be something that goes wrong. This isn't NHL 17. You can't just sit there and be a GM this. Uh, there's going to be moves you make that benefit you and moves you make that don't. Here. wanted to come up and see me come up and see me don't fight with me just you no know, sit say hi to the people lily bell okay good kitty um but yeah so uh Jokinen's added to that offensive uh juggernaut that they're building in 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 edmonton uh Jokinen had 28 points i figure he should at least equal that now playing with edmonton uh, it's a little bit better offensively than what he had going for him in Florida. And it's another player exiting the Florida Panthers. So on the other end, uh, Florida's got a lot of things to make up. I also want to explain something. Um, so I did the video this morning with, with teams that I believe are contenders, maybe contenders, bubble teams, and then rebuild. A bubble team, to me, is any team that, that, that I could see potentially missing the playoffs if things go badly. And I could see them being a top three team otherwise. To be a maybe contender or a contender, I can see them winning the, the winning the division. The bubble teams, I just can't. Not right now. And it's, you know, it's it's one of those things. And it's, it's a gut thing. That's why I said, just don't read a whole lot into it. Just take it for what it is. And I'll do the actual predictions later once I get into all the rosters and who I think stronger where. Sometimes I'll be right, sometimes I'll be wrong. We'll all have our disagreements about it, and that's what I love about doing this YouTube stuff. Just like I'm sure there's some people who are going to say Jokinen's useless, Edmonton could have brought in a, a prospect instead, Jokinen's too old, too slow, whatever they're going to say. Um, when JJ was clearly the one joining the team, it was either going to be Yager or Jokinen, clearly. And I'm glad it was Jokinen, to be honest. I don't know... I mean, Yager on the Oilers would make a lot of sense. But I like Jokinen better as a bottom six forward than I like Yager at this point in their careers. Um, we'll see what happens with Yager. But for right now, 
we see UC Okanen as the newest member of the Oilers. Um, I, I think it's a good fit. Let me know why he's a good fit or a bad fit down below. And hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. And this, I don't have an Offspring shirt. We're going to an Offspring, con offspring concert. So rather than just wear another metal shirt, I figure I'll wear my brand new Ash vs. Evil Dead shirt that I got at Hot Topic today. For uh, There was two for 15, so I grabbed two Ash shirts from Ash vs. Evil Dead. Uh, the other one's a double extra large, so uh, the lovely Yvonne will be cutting that down to size for me so that it fits me. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again soon, and I hope everybody enjoys their weekend.